Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and in this video lecture we will learn in detail about the Tower of Hanoi, right? So let's see. Tower of Hanoi, basically if you will see what is Tower of Hanoi, then it is a mathematical puzzle which is also known as Tower of Brahma. Basically there is very interesting story behind the name, it is called as Tower of Brahma related to Kashi Vishwana temple in India. We will discuss it further ahead uh, when I will get uh, time to discuss some interesting story with you. Uh, uh, currently let us discuss about the concept of Tower of Hanoi and uh, regarding it basically it consists of three roads right three roads and n number of discs with different sizes so we have three roads and n number of discs with different sizes basically the tower of Hanoi problem it is discovered by Edward Lucas a French mathematician scientist in 1883 right so for example here three roads are given to us likewise that right suppose here you can say that here are n, uh, n number of disks may be there right n number of disks may be there here currently we have three disks and three roads will be there to you three roads right now the our next step is to we have to move all the disks from uh, one road to another suppose it is beginning road or you can say that it is original road and suppose it is our destination node right destination road and the main middle road you can also say it auxiliary road right so we have to move all these uh, disks from this road to this road with following some specific rule so what are the specific rules let's see the specific rules are we can move only one disk at a time right so we can only move one disk at a time we can't pick two or two or more than one disk at a time right we can only move upper disk from the stack right so suppose stack is here then we can only move the upper disk right we can't move this kind uh, suppose if you you want to move the middle disk but you can't move middle disk until and unless you have to move this smaller disk which is placed on it first right so after that you can move that middle one we can only place disks on top of stacks on which we are putting suppose here are three roads and if you are uh, getting this smaller disk then you have to put it here now suppose you are putting this uh, smaller disk then you can you have to put on top of a stack but what rule number four says larger disk should be at the bottom larger disk should be at the bottom and smaller disk should be on the top of the stack that is why we can't put this second largest uh, uh, disk on the on this disk so we have to put this disk here now we have to put this smaller disk here and we can also put it here because it is following all the rules that what are the rules that uh, smaller disk should be placed on larger disk and one disk should be moved at a time right so for more clearance let's see the illustration so basically if you want to see some illustration let's take it some interestingly mm. Suppose this is disk number 1, this is disk number 2 and this is disk number 3. So, and this is road number 1, you can say that it is a original disk or uh, you can also say that it is a beginning disk. And here it is, suppose it is our destination road. Here we have to move all the disk from here to here and this is auxiliary road, right? So first we have to place the smallest disk. This is disk number one. So suppose I have placed the disk here. So I have placed the disk here. This is disk number one. So now on the top of road number one, the disk is now two. So I have to move this disk to here. So my disk number two will be here. Now I have only disk number 3 here because I have put disk number 1 here and disk number 2 here right. Now I have again put this smaller disk here. So this smaller disk is now here. So it is 1 and 2 because 1 is smaller than 2. Now this story is empty. So I can move this disk number 3 to here because nothing is here. Na? So I have put this is the largest disk now so this is disk number 3 now this road is getting empty so I have put it this road uh, disk number 1 here again you can assume it that it is empty right so disk number 1 is again here and I will then put the disk number 2 here so disk number 2 is now here now 
this disk is empty uh, this road is empty and disk one is here so i have to put this number one here so what we have did we have put it we have shift all the disk from the beginning road to destination now now how many moves we have did there first i have put smaller disk to here one then this to this two then this uh, then uh, uh, then what we have did uh, the smaller disk here to here three then larger disk here to here four then what we have did after that we have put a smaller disk here five this is smaller disk here six and then finally the smallest disk here so total seven moves we have did in shifting three disks right so what conclusion we can made here that so we uh, with three disk total moves which is required to solve the puzzle is seven moves right because we have three disk here and to shift this three disk from road one to road here road three you can say that we needed seven moves for generalization you cannot get two to the power n minus one moves we will require to shift one disk uh, all disk from one road to n suppose here disk are suppose there are four disks then how many moves you will require to shift from road 1 to destination road 2 to the power n minus 1 moves means 2 to the power 4 minus 1 is equals to 15 moves you will require suppose you have 8 disks here then 2 to the power 8 minus 1 right 255 moves you will require to shift all the disks from disk one or beginning disk to destination disk so this is the problem of tower of one eye let's see the recursive algorithm for that here move n minus one disk from source to auxiliary right so source to auxiliary means here it is a source or you can say that beginning and auxiliary is here so what you have to do you have to move n minus one disk here to here for simplicity you can take that but uh, you can also move this disk from uh, directly to final uh, final disk and then you can arrange them so that the final disk should be at the uh, bottom position of the destination node right but for uh, algorithm purpose uh, this is one of the algorithm you can also design your kind of algorithm but this is one of the algorithm you can say that it uses recursive approach to solve tower of one eye problem right now move n at disk from source to destination move n at disk from source to destination which will fulfill the condition that final disk or the larger disk should be at the bottom most position and move n minus one disk from auxiliary from auxiliary n minus one to destination one wise one if you will put by arranging them then finally you will get the shifted of all this from the source to destination uh, road right so this is the problem of tower of one now the most important question that can be asked that how much moves that will require so 2 to the power n minus 1 moves will require right and uh, tower of one is a real life application you, you may be asked in your interviews or uh, uh, anywhere so for that it is used in psychological research on problem solving so in psychological research tower of one problem uses basically everywhere where recursive or recursion program is used right in graph or you can say that in trees linked list everywhere it is used but for real life application you can consider it like as uh, used in psychological research on problem solving used in backup rotation scheme for example in computer data backups when you will take computer data backup it is used in backup rotation scheme and it is also used by neuropsychologist for trying to evaluate frontal lobe deficits so these are some of the real life application of tower of Hanoi, right so i hope you have understood all the concept which i have discussed with you further if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can comment us and we will try to solve your doubts and queries as early as possible thank you so much guys have a nice day please subscribe to our youtube channel for getting more updates and more videos like that and if you find any improvement from our side please comment us so that in our upcoming lectures we will try to keep those uh, lectures and we will try to improvement from our side thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat